Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily upload your VRChat avatars that you have, for example, purchased a package on. So the first thing you need is Unity. Unity is the engine that VRChat was made on and it's the software we use to upload stuff. So you go to unity.com and you click download Unity here and you're going to download it for Windows. And what's going to happen is going to download Unity Hub. Unity Hub is essentially an environment where you can have different Unity versions, which can be useful when VRChat changes the version it's currently using. And when it's uh, downloaded, install it. I have installed it already, so I'm just gonna open the window. And when you run it, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be empty. And now you need to install the correct version of Unity that you need. You can always check this on this website. I'm gonna put the link into the description. Uh, it's official VRChat documentation, and here it says which Unity version VRChat currently is using. And it is crucial to use this exact version. It's very important. So you go to Unity Hub, you go to Installs, you Add, and then you find in the list the correct Unity version. Now, uh, for now, we can uh, see it is 2019.431.f1, and I don't have it here, and the reason for it is that I have it installed already. But you, you're gonna have it in this list and you're gonna click it and click next and go through the process and download the correct version. And when it's finished, you're gonna see it in the installs here and you can see I have the version here. Uh, so the next thing you do, this is pretty much set up for now. And then you go to VRChat website, you log in, uh, you go to download, and then you download the creator companion. That's the new thing that's going to be uh, relevant for, for the year 2023 and later, because since January 2023, VRChat will no longer, no longer uh, enable you to download SDK separately. You'll have to do it through the Creator Companion, so we need to do it now. So you just download the Creator Companion, then you install it, and when you install it, you run it, and it's going to probably look like this. It's going to be empty and ready to do stuff for you. So now you have Unity installed, you have Creator Companion, and now you need to make your project for your avatar. So you click New, you click Avatar, you name it, for example, Avatar Test Upload. You select the location for it whenever you need on your disk, and you click Create. Now it's going to be working a little bit. The thing is, it, it will download all the SDK files that we did by hand. It's going to do automatically, and it also has an update button, uh, which appears here when it needs updates, which doesn't right now, so I cannot show you. Now we can see it prepared the, the project. We have the base SDK, avatar SDK, this thing you don't need, really need to worry about, to be honest with you. So when you're ready, you just click open project. And now it's gonna open Unity, uh, and it's gonna be building all the files, getting it ready. I have it on my other screen. Uh, but this takes a while. This can take from 5 to 20 minutes usually. So I'm going to end the recording right now and I'm going to get back to you when this is fun, when this is done. So the project is successfully created. You should see this screen, which is empty. And now you need to import all the files that you need. Uh, for this example, I'm going to be using this ASIL package. And you can literally just uh, double click it and it's going to be decompressing and preparing the package, which can take, again, from a minute to 20 minutes, depends how big the package is, like really nicely done avatars with a lot of functions, a lot of toggles, a lot of effects take a while, but it is worth it. Uh, so we wait now. And uh, you also need to follow the instructions of the actual avatar that you're trying to import. Some avatars require you to import uh, different stuff before you import, import the package, such as Poyomi Shader and others. Oh, uh, that was quick. So now we're gonna import it. We just click import. And I'm pretty sure for this actual package, I do need a Poyomi Shader. So I'm just gonna look it up on my second screen in my files. And we're gonna import it as soon as this one imports. And 
And again, uh, in comparison to how we did it before, you don't have to import the SDK at all because it's already been imported by the Creator Companion app, which is this one. So while this imports, I'm going to end the recording and I'll get back to you when it's done and I'm going to show you how to actually upload your avatar. So now everything is uh, imported, but there is no avatar, nothing's happening. So what do you do next is that you look into the avatar package and usually in the main folder or somewhere you have this file and it has this icon which is a unity scene. You double click it, you click save. Uh, alt scene, you put whatever here, that's the old scene that don't really matter. And now it should open a scene with your avatar. Oh, how you navigate this window is that you click in it and then right click is looking around. If you hold your middle mouse button, you can move this way. And if you use your arrow keys, you can move around as well. And if you want to move around with your arrow keys faster, you click here, click camera speed, and you just like make it higher. So you can be a bit more efficient. Now this is the quest version, which we don't want now. So I'm going to click him, I'm going to hide him. And the PC version is up here. So I'm going to enable him here. And this is what your avatar should look like. So now that we have him ready, uh, the most common thing you need to do is yeah, first you need to log in. So you click the Archer SDK, show control panel, and this little window will, will pop up. So basically what you do here, you put in your username or email, your password, and click sign in because you need to log into your account. I'm going to put it on my other screen and I'm going to put my uh, data here and log in. Yes, and this is what it should like. And it also needs to say that you're allowed to publish avatars, which is, I think you need to be a new user or a user. I'm not sure, one of those. You cannot be a visitor, that's for sure. And if it, this doesn't happen, it doesn't let you log in, uh, check here below. There could be a message that you need to confirm your email uh, for login of this location. That's like the basic... Uh, protection that VRChat does when people are logging in from a new computer for the first time. So when you when, does, when that happens, you go to your email, you confirm the email for, VR, for VRChat and you log in and it should work. And if you see this here and you're logged in, you go to Builder. And now you select your avatar, which only we have one, so you don't have to really do anything here. And you click uh, Build and Publish. But the thing is, before you do that, you need to check the Blueprint ID. Uh, usually when you get an avatar package, there's another ID which would give you an error because this ID is uh, literally an identification for a unique avatar in the VRChat system. So you would kind of try to override somebody else's avatar, which VRChat would not allow you to do. So we just click detach here and it should be empty for your first time uploading. So you click now for build and publish for Windows. Uh, you click yes, okay, and now it's going to be locking materials and building everything up for the upload. That can also take about 5 to 15, 20 minutes, depends how complicated your avatar is. So I'm going to get back to you when it's done. So now everything processed and now it gives us this little screen. And we put in the name of the avatar. I'm going to call it Azeal Medium. Uh, here you click all the tags. Uh, what is important is if you, your avatar should be private, that means only for you, or public. That means it's going to be copied, put on a paddle, still used by other people. For this case, I'm going to do private because it's only for me. Then I click the above information is accurate and I have the rights to upload this content to VR chat. I click and I click upload. Now this is going to take 
a minute or two shouldn't be too long you can see how it's going pretty fast because it's essentially just uploading uh, everything we have built for the avatar for unity to process it properly into the game it also depends on your uh, how fast your internet is and how lo uh, loaded the servers are currently but as soon as it's like progressing and changing and doing stuff you're fine There we go. And the last thing you see is this little pop-up and it should say update complete, launch VR chat to see your uploaded content. Uh, so now, now the avatar should be uploaded to your account and you should be able to use it immediately. Or if VR chat is, you know, the server load is quite high, it might take 10 to 20 minutes to appear on Fridays and Saturdays. So that's all. If this tutorial has been helpful, uh, leave a comment leave a like you can also see me on uh, see my stuff all all the links that you see on the screen now and also you can find all the links mentioned in the video uh, below in the description